This is the story of the crucifixion. When Jesus finished praying on the Mount of Olives, he was arrested by leaders from the temple. When the disciples saw what happened, they were ready to fight back with their swords. One of them actually hurt a man, but Jesus asked them to stop, and he healed the man who was hurt. The guards took Jesus to Pilate, the Roman governor, saying, Jesus claims he is the Messiah, a king. After talking to Jesus, Pilate turned to the leading priest and to the crowd and said, You brought this man to me, accusing him, but I find him innocent. The crowd then shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate kept trying to release Jesus, but after being pressured by the crowd, he sentenced Jesus to die on a cross, just like they demanded. The soldiers put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head and a purple robe on him. They kept mocking Jesus and hurting him. Then they took Jesus away. He was carrying the cross by himself, and as they led him away, a large crowd followed behind them. After a long walk, they nailed Jesus to the cross and put a sign above him with the words, King of the Jews. Even though Jesus was suffering, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. When Jesus was in pain, darkness fell across the whole land for three hours and the light from the sun was gone. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple was torn down from top to bottom, and the earth shook. Then Jesus said, It is finished. Father, I entrust my spirit into your hands. And with those words, he breathed his last. The soldiers at the cross were terrified by the earthquake and all that had happened. They said, this man truly was the Son of God. The crowd went home in deep sorrow, but Jesus' friends and family stood at a distance. Then Jesus' body was laid in a new tomb near a garden. The tomb was covered with a big stone. And just when everyone thought this story was over, something amazing was about to happen.